Hello. <laughs> Sorry. James Mingvit. How are you doing? All right. I have to, uh, well, I've created, well, I made a lesson for you today that I hope will help you. It's off of the top three most important words you should learn in English. You've seen this word before, as I believe you have seen the other three words. And this time I'm going to try and expand it for you and give you a little way we use this word differently than you're used to, okay? It's important because we use it all the time in a phrasal verb, in a noun, and in a verb form. Let's go. Go to the board. Okay. So the word today is, well, envy makes my day. What would that mean? Okay. I'm going to explain it to you because obviously make you usually think of money and food. I make cake, I make money. Because usually when you make something, you have it, you, you bring it into existence, right? So we have it here. Okay. The three most important words in English, make. When we use make, we cause it to exist. You make it exist. Usually when people talk about do, they talk about actions. But with make, you should have a final product. All right? So let's go over here. The first one, you may recognize this. Luke, I am your father. But what did he really mean? Well, two things, actually. He was talking two ways. Number one, he was saying, I'm your father. I made you. I created you. But also, the fact you are a Jedi Knight. He made him. So we say, I made you. Well, when someone says that, they don't just mean physically created you. They say they created or create the character of you, your character or your success. So if you're in business and you become very rich and wealthy and handsome like me, no, I'm not. Uh, but if you do something like that and somebody said, I made you, they said, I helped create that success. Without me, it wouldn't have happened. Caused it to exist. Okay, because they didn't physically make you, but maybe a boss or a friend helped make you, or your wife or boyfriend helped make you. Okay, so that's for character or your success. How about the next one? Go ahead, punk. Make my day. <laughs> right, I stole it from Clint Eastwood. Right, this is Star Wars. This is Dirty Harry. Dirty because he needed a shower. And perhaps if he took one, we wouldn't be making the statement about him. Clint. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. When we talk about the completion of something, that it leads you to be happy or brings you pain. To be honest, about 70% of the time we talk about it for happiness, and 30% of the time we talk about it for pain. So when somebody said something makes my day or made my day, usually it's good. For instance, I bought a lottery ticket and I won. It really made my day. It made me feel good. Created feelings of happiness. Okay? But sometimes we talk about pain. Oh man, someone invited my ex-wife to the party with my new girlfriend. That really made my day. Now it made me angry, caused me to be angry or caused me pain because when this was completed or the success of it is not going to help me. Okay? So this is a different way for make. So we should know what these are, right? When you say, I made you, this is verb usage. When you say, make my day, also, Verb, verb usage. Okay? Let's go over here. Number three. Sorry, I can't make it. What does that mean? Are they telling you that you can't, they can't make your cake or make money for you? Not exactly. Once again, we go back to cause or exist. When I can't make it, I can't come. So we're looking at verb use. I can't come to your party. Can't come. Not able to go there. Okay? So, exist. I won't be there. Or I can make it. I will come and I will exist being there. Right? This is different than arrive. Some people will go to the same. They're not exactly. In this case, when we say come, it means can you actually physically be there? Can you make it to my party? Now we can use the same thing later on when we talk about arrive. Arrive is usually the time you got there. So we talk about the time when you got there. This is the first part. Can you even come? Yes or no? Can you make it to my party? You're not at the party. We're just asking, can you come to the party? The next part is arrive. Well, what time did he make it? What time did he arrive? Usually you hear this in a business context. If the boss is looking for you going, when did Mr. E get here? Oh, he made it about 10 o'clock. He arrived then. They're not talking about come. They already know that he came there. But what time did he actually arrive? So similar, but very different. So something you really want to pay attention to. Context, right? Can you come to work tomorrow? Yes or no? Right? Can you make it to work tomorrow? That's what they're saying. Or... What time did they arrive, or what time did they make it? Different, okay? Now, here's a phrasal verb, because phrasal verbs are good to know. Very common in English. 
And this one is exceptionally common. See Mr. E? Put some lipstick on. He's looking to make out with somebody. Now there's a couple of things for make out. It's a very interesting phrasal verb. Um, number one is the easiest one in English. When you kiss too, uh, for a long time, right? Love you, kiss, right? Make out, kiss for a long time, make out. The second one is, how did you do? What does that mean? If you're going for a job and your friend comes up to you, say Sly the Snake comes up and goes, Mr. E, I heard you were going for a new job. Did you get the job? That's one way of saying it. Another way of saying it would be, how did you make out? In this case, it means, how did you do? Did you get what you wanted? Right? How did you make out? Maybe Mr. E goes to the store and said, I went shopping and bought some stuff. Then I might say, how did you make out? How did you do or what did you get? So that's another one for make out. So listen for context. Because if there's no maybe they're saying, how did you do? How did you do on the test? How did you make out on the test? Next. This one's interesting. When you say, I could make out somebody, it's not kissing them, it's not how do they do. It means to either see or hear with difficulty. It's dark outside, it's dark, 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 and I look, and I see a worm moving across, but I can barely see the worm. I would say, I can barely make out the worm. I can see it, but with difficulty. Sorry, I can't make out what you're saying. You have to speak louder. I really can't make out what you're saying. I am having a hard time hearing you. Difficulty to make out. I can make out what he's saying if I listen carefully. I can hear, but I must try. Okay? And finally, Mr. E is on the make. Lipstick, wants to make out. Well, when we say someone's on the make, a very general term is they're looking for something. They're on the make. Looking for a job, looking for friends, looking for anything. So when you're looking for something, you're on the make, maybe you're searching, he's on the make. We say looking for, searching for. And one of the things, key things we use it for is this one. A sexual hookup. Worms get hooked all the time. Fishing, okay? But when you, a hookup means to join together, to join together. So sometimes when we say, actually a lot of times, when we say someone's on the make, we mean they're looking for a sexual hookup or a sexual relationship. Not marriage, you get the drift. So if they're saying I'm on the make because I want to make out with someone, clearly it has nothing to do with just looking for socks in a drawer. Cool? All right. Listen, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. This was lesson three of the three most important words you need to learn in English. And Mr. E has helped me with my final part of the job today, which is this. If you want to learn other lessons, I know you do, actually. And I know you can make it because you're sitting here now, so you've got time, see? <laughs> All right. And it would make my day. Certainly, uh, you know, we, I wouldn't say we've made you because you're a wholly formed person. But please come by, you know, come on the make to ingvid, which is www.ing, as in English, vid as a video, dot com, because ingvid wants to make your day. See you. Three words. Go check out the other ones on get and have. See you.